What's up you guys, so I'm here with a new video today and I'm here to bring you guys Lex Wingate's uh, top 8 San Jose Regional uh, 60 card Infernoid Zoo, brilliant Infernoid Zoo deck profile. Um, I've been waiting to uh, profile this. Uh, my friend Lex uh, did top eight the San Jose Regional. He also played the following day in the the Raging Tempest case tourney. You guys have seen some of the matches have gone up. His match, one of his matches was just uploaded yesterday. Uh, he wanted me to keep his deck list under wraps uh, at first just because uh, he didn't want people to know about it. It was kind of like a different spin on Infernoids. Obviously, the Infernoid Zoo deck is popular, but he also added an added um, engine in the Brilliant Fusion engine. Uh, first foremost i want to shout out uh team jobber uh jesse jobber his team all the boys um you know uh you know thank you for letting me profile one of you uh one of your really good players um I also want to uh, shout out Andrew Doe. Uh, this is from Lex to you. He wanted to shout you out for the Brilliant Fusion idea. Um, I will explain everything uh, in the deck. He gave me pretty much the synopsis. I'm a big Infernoid fan, and him and Andrew have always been some of my favorite people to watch playing the deck. They came up with this innovative build. So let's just get into it so you guys will understand. Okay, so he did play the one Garnet, obviously, to go with the three Brilliant Fusion. For the main Infernoids, it was double Anoku, double Deviati. He played triple Entondle. Now, a lot of people would wonder why would you play triple Entondle if you've seen a lot of the list they have actually cut down on a tondle and they have uh, played just more of the other infernoids or just lower the infernoid cap the thing with entondle is that it does have the ability to go for game being able to punch over a monster and then attack again for 28 is quite relevant because depending on how your sequence goes having void imagination and getting it off the field you can summon a bunch of infernoids that can pretty much just go for game and entondle is definitely one of those cards that does that also being a big infernoid you're able to dd crow during either player's turn so that's really relevant uh, for the other big infernoids he played two copies of sisimus and two copies of sujet so sujet is there because um of the void feast void feast usually the combo is to go into sujet and double decatron turning one decatron into deviati one decatron into anoku so you can negate pretty much everything so that's why he ran that a uh, three fairy tale snow this card is insane it's the reason why brilliant fusion is in this deck in case you guys are wondering his goal with brilliant fusion when i asked him because i actually asked him during the tournament why he was playing brilliant fusion he said that they came up with the idea of playing brilliant fusion not only for an additional normal summon but to get snow out of the deck so you're not always relying to mill it snow is a win condition having played the card myself i fully agree the card is so powerful it can disrupt so many plays that by getting it in the graveyard as early as turn one off a of brilliant fusion it really does put you ahead of your opponent and your opponent is on a time clock because their plays will get interrupted by fairy tale snow so it made a lot of sense when it was explained to me uh, for the rest of infernoids he had two copies of petrulia he did play the zodiac the zodiac engine this engine is insane the one viper three rat self-explanatory he played three copies of harmadic uh being a level three it helps you get into your invoker more uh, frequently and then of course the three auto top and the one brick and two max c's one entra and a three decatron so that's it for the monsters it's 34 monsters in the main deck again this is a 60 card deck uh for the spells three instant fusion just you know keep going with your plays make the zoo play you can instant fusion back the rat go into bullhorn and start doing your plays a uh, three lawn mowing next door grass looks greener whatever the hell you want to call it cards insane you open it you mill like 20 cards your graveyard gets loaded and you just start playing infernoids uh, three copies of pot of desires one of the few decks left in the format that plays pot of desires uh when you're playing 60 cards you can desires multiple times and it doesn't hurt you so seems pretty self-explanatory he did play the one reasoning now a lot of people are gonna probably wonder why would you play reasoning when you have so many different levels reasoning is still insane in this deck they're not gonna call it right all the time and even if you do lose a rat or you do lose a fairy tale snow you kind of want snow in the grave you kind of don't mind if rats in the grave because you can instant fusion it back and at worst case scenario you can you know if you if they call one and you hit a terra top or a snow or a rat like it's good it's not bad the worst card to hit i guess is just max c but as you guys can see in his extra deck he is playing a card that i have used myself to recycle back max c when you banish it off an infernoid so we'll get to that when we get to the extra deck just still a very powerful card in the deck of course three left arm offering um to search out the grass looks greener or anything you need at the time uh again three brilliant fusion this is just an enabler to start your combos getting snow to the grave getting additional normal summon it really sets you up nicely uh 
uh, for the rest of the turn. Uh, two copies of Void Imagination. You guys already know the Shadal Fusion. Now, he did run three fire for three uh, tanky. Uh, he did not have barrages. He told me already that if he had barrages, this would be barrage. So look at this card as barrage if you're going to copy this deck. Three copies of Vanishment because it searches the best trap. And the only trap in the deck is two copies of Void Feast. This card is utterly insane. The plays that you can do with it are crazy. If you happen to open two of it and a Vanishment, you can summon five monsters. This trap is just insane. It's sent Infernoids over the top. So that's it from the main deck it is 60 cards completely maxed out for the extra deck one copy of tiara for the void imagination one seraph knight for the brilliant fusion one norden for the instant fusion he did play in san jose he played ultimaya tzokin and crystal wing in the case tourney he cut both of them for an extra copy of broad bull an extra copy of dryden if you guys are wondering how do you make the ultimaya tzokin you go brilliant fusion bringing out the seraph knight if you do use one of your normal summons to summon decatron you can send heart you can send a uh, patrol making a level five and then that's how you make the tzolkin in case you guys are wondering crystal wing is just a really powerful card and the last synchro was a uh, omega self-explanatory uh he did run one copy of boo bujinki amaterasu now this is what i was saying if for some reason you hit you milled your max c for whatever reason and you banished it for snow uh you could always add it back with amaterasu's effect because during your opponent's turn you can target one of your level four or lower banished cards and add it to your hand so there is some synergy there one copy of Kagasuchi, uh, Mill 5, can't be destroyed, works with the rat combo. Uh, one copy of Emerald, recycle your stuff at the end of the rat combo if you don't go into Kagasuchi. And then the four Zodiacs, one copy of Tiger Mortar, one copy of Dryden, one copy of Borbo, and one copy of Bullhorn. And for the rank threes, one Totem Bird and one Invoker. Uh, for his side deck, three copies of Ghost Ogre, obviously good against Zoo. Just, you know, hit them. You know, inexperienced players will play the combo wrong and you just you just ogre them and their turn ends. Uh, the board wipes one right Geki double dark hole, self-explanatory when going second. He played one copy of Typhoon and three copies of Twin Twister for back row removal. One copy of My Body as a Shield, you know, could be for pretty much anything that tries to destroy you, Dryden, Dark Hole, Regeki, etc. Two copies of Breakthrough Skill, get some value out of milling, being able to break through a Dryden before you do your play is pretty cool. And lastly, he ran two copies of Fiend Comedian. This is a card that you would use for the mirror match. If you guys don't know what it does, you toss a coin and call it if you call it right. All, the, all your opponent's cards are removed from play in their graveyard. You call it wrong, you send a number of cards equal to the cards in your opponent's graveyard from your deck to your graveyard. So basically, there is no downside to activating this card. You want to mill, and this card helps you mill. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Again, this was Lex Wingate's uh, Top 8 San Jose Regional and Top uh, 4 uh raging tempest case tournament uh infernoid 60 card brilliant infernoid deck profile a new twist on the deck gives you something new to try out i really like the deck he's a really smart player both him and andrew dope piloted this deck and did really well at the case tourney and it's nice to see that there's still uh, a little bit of innovation going into these decks especially in a 60 card build since not too many people are favoring the deck but i feel when you include other engines you can you know you can make up for like the bricks that people say happen when you play that many cards but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, thank you to Jobber. Shout out to you guys. I'll have the link down below to their channel. Be sure to check them all out. Good, great, good group of guys all from here in NorCal. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.